really looking forward to the Type R, the pinnacle of Honda performance. The interaction is between the driver, the handling on a road course, the car is phenomenal. You can drive it to the track and then take it on the track, and then when you're done, you can go over to the grocery store. It's got to be the most aggressive, fastest, most radical version of the Civic ever. Everybody wants to see the best car that Honda can possibly make, and I think that's exactly what we did with this generation of Type R. The Type R brand has for a long time represented the pinnacle of Honda performance. However, here in the U.S., it's always sort of been the forbidden fruit. We've never been able to have it. Our, our colleagues in Japan and Europe have been marketing Type Rs for years. This represents the first time we've had it. It's been a long, long wait, but we're finally gonna give it to the American consumers. There's such groundswell inside of American Honda and people's love of Civic, but also the desire to get a Type R that I took that as kind of the mantle for us to uh, move it forward and get the car here for the U.S. And well, the inspiration was a, a race-inspired car. Racing is, is really bred in, and you'll see that in the Type R, some of the technologies that went into that car, particularly the aerodynamics package. It's definitely functional. There are engineering drawings that show the rear wing and the other body pieces do help with the aero core of, of racing and you think true racing enthusiasts want to shift their own gears and that's why Type R comes as a manual transmission. Race tune suspension, super high output motor, great aero package. The handling characteristics are fantastic. And the seats are designed for, for racing and taking to the track, but they're also comfortable enough to drive in every day and the car's not going to punish you for that. They've got vents on the back of the front fenders, front of the back fenders, and on the hood. The chief engineers and the designers had a lot of ideas and heritage put in this car, but when you see it and you drive it and it all comes together, it's just a thing of beauty. I mean, there's certain heritage things uh, that you'll see on the new Type R. You know, the Type R logo is, is iconic now. Larger wheels than anything else on, on a Civic couldn't show up with a Type R um, Civic in the States without a big rear wing on it. The engineers for the Type R really carried on the spirit of Sochiro Honda. This helps uh, kind of with mojo, it helps with uh, image, it, it, it's just a great car to be able to get into the lineup and really show how much Honda loves uh, these type of vehicles. The look of the car right off the bat, but the performance, the packaging, it is everything you could ask for in a sports car. Basically, this is going to be a car that's going to fit their need no matter what their lifestyle is or what their age is. We're waiting eagerly, and we know our customers are too. What was the overriding theme in the development? Remember, this has to be the world's fastest front-wheel drive car on that racetrack. We want the car to be something somebody's going to be able to use every day. So we, we worked to make sure the features and content were there, uh, but also that it didn't get in the way of the drivability of the vehicle. To have that amount of horsepower in a Civic, uh, with such a reliable car, but also be able to go out and do everything you possibly want on the track or uh, on the freeway, it's going to be a great car. Stay tuned.